Hello everybody, uh, this is Rene from Spain with a new video, a new collection video, because in this video I'm going to show my Manowar collection. Some guys asked me to make this video, I wrote down one of the guys name, but I, I completely lost, lost the paper where I wrote it down. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, yes, it was a good idea to make a Manowar video, and that's what I'm going to do now. I mean, Manowar is one of my favorite bands ever. And they were formed in 1980. You know, Yudi Mayo, um, the bass player, he was working like a ba bass technician for Black Sabbath. And when he was on tour during the 70s with Black Sabbath, you know, like a technician, um, he met Ross the Boss, you know, the guitar player in England. And then they decided to form the band. And of course, they got Eric Adams. And also, they got uh, a drummer. And together, they made first the demo in 1981. But actually, the demo from the 1981 is uh, Carl, 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 yes, from the the Rots. You know, quite a famous guy in the metal scene. Um, his name was C uh, Carl Kennedy, Ken Kennedy, yes. But of course, later you you start writing it with a C. But in those times it was with the key, and he was with, with from the Rots, and they made this debut 1981, and then they released this the the first full length album, you see. But of course here they had a different uh, drummer on, on here, you see, and he. His name was Donny Hamzik, but of course the rest went on with Manowar. This was the first full length album, a killer record of course. There's not much to say about this because it's just amazing. You could clearly hear they, they were fans of Deep Purple, you know, really I can hear that in some of the tracks. And of course you also hear some Black Sabbath and Judas Priest touches to it. Very cool album. Okay, then they released Into Glory Ride. This is again a killer killer release of course. It's super, super, super. You see? And here we have Scott Columbus for the first time in the band. I will show you how this opens. See? Quite cool CD release. And Scott Columbus, Eric Adams, Judy Mayo, and Ross the Boss, they stayed in the band for a long time together, making also this album. How to England, super super album, here we have songs like Blood of My Enemies, I mean that song is still in the set list, you know it's a, just an amazing album, Kill with Power is also one of my favorites, uh, and the epic Army of the Immortals, it's incredible, just an amazing album, and I also own this on vinyl actually, Oops. see? Vinyl. Beautiful artwork too. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Then they also appear with the song Blood of My Enemies on this quite famous compilation, you know, here. Hell Comes to Your House. And we also have Exciter on it, Anthrax, Halion, Loudness, Metallica with the song Cripping Dead. And this was from 1984. Also in 1984, they released first, before the, the older album came out, because they released two full-length albums in 1984, they also released this release, All Men Play on 10, you see, the 12 inch single with two songs, you see, very cool release and then they came with my favorite records from the early Manowar days this is amazing sign of the hammer with amazing songs like animals I love animals you know I love that song I'm an animal there's an animal in me Ow! I'm gonna set it free. I love that song so much. One of my favorite songs ever by Manowar. 
And here we have mountains. It's an amazing track too. And Gaya Guayana. Guayana! Dun dun! Girls of the Damned! Amazing. Anyway, great album. Okay, then this is a bootleg that came out. And this was recorded on the Sign of the Hammer tour. You see? And Hammersmith Audion 1985. This is a bootleg I bought in the early 80s. Uh, sorry, early, <laughs> early 90s. You see? You can see also the track list on here. See? All Men Play on 10. Blood of My Enemies from uh, Hell to England. Hi to England. Okay. Also, they were on this compilation. Together with Warrior. You know, the Fighting for the Earth Warrior. Gillen. Gary Moore. And Manowar had the song The Oat on here. And Guayana. Wow. Amazing tracks. Wow, I love it. It's just an amazing compilation. See, from 1985. Yes. Okay, very cool release. Good. Let's move on. Okay, still with original lineup, or, or let's say the, the early lineup, you know, that um, from the second album, you know, on, on onward, we have Fighting the World. You know, I love this song. I mean, I had a band before. I mean, uh, it was a death metal band in the early 90s. And we did the song Fighting the World, like in a death metal version. <laughs> Also, we have here Defender on it, Holy War, Carry On, Blow Your Speakers, I and mean Blow Your Speakers. I remember the video clip, I think for sure you all do remember the video clip for that song. It was always on MTV. Okay, then you are on this compilation, Time to Rock, it's with the song Fighting the World. And here we had Motley Crue on it, Raven, Tesla, Malice. Even Guns N' Roses were on here. You know, with Shadow of Your Love, Life. It's a very cool compilation, this is. Testament, Metal Church. Okay. Then they came with the Kings of Metal album. And they released, especially for the German market, this amazing EP, I think. Because here on the B side, you got Hars aus Tal. And of course, that song is Heart of Steel in German. So it's, it's a cool release, this. Okay? They were very popular in Germany, of course, back then. Again, I have a bootleg from this era. From the Kings of Metal era. Warriors of the Metal Sword. Live in Münster. 1985. You see? This was released in 1991. Death to False Metal, of course, on red vinyl. See, there's nothing printed on it. I don't know if it's rare nowadays, but I saw I bought this in the early 90s. Okay, then they returned with the epic, the tri Triumph of Steel. I mean, they, they, I thought, I thought, I always thought there was a strong return. You know, I always like this uh, this return. You know, by the band because for from since 88 they didn't release a new album but when they came back in 92 I was I really really liked it I was really happy with this release also I even have a bootleg you see a bootleg and by when this came out they had a different guitar player called David Schengel and Rino was on drums See this live recording in live in Europe, nice and diggy pack. Made of steel. Then they, they released in '94 on Atlantic Records this best of album. You see, and I saw them also around this time in uh, in Madrid, and I think this is a poster. I went to Madrid by bus, and then I saw them. See? Okay, let me see. I also wrote down everything I've listed here. The next one is again kind of um, they got a new guitar player, of, co co of course, called uh, Carl Logan, that's still in the bands nowadays, too. And they return uh, with Louder Than Hell in 1997 
But first they came out with this amazing uh, maxi single, Return of the Warlord. And they made a video clip too, and it was so cool to see them back, you know, back in action. Five years, no, nothing of Manowar, just this compilation, and some other compilations came out. And they played a lot live, I saw them live in 93 in Madrid. But still, we needed new Manowar, and I love this Manowar. And this got a lot of promotion, because they released Manowar, see, one, number one. See, this is a maxi single. They released also Courage maxi single. You see? And then they released a live album. Because then they start releasing a lot of live stuff. Hell on Bills in 97. Return of the Warlord tour, of course. I mean, uh, Loud and Hell tour. And they released again Courage. It's a great uh, power ballad, but live on maxi single with a couple of extra tracks too. You know, Metal Warriors also is also on here. And they released some EPs also for the Spanish market. They did it for the German and some other markets, also the French, I think. And also for Spain, they released this exclusive uh, maxi single on CD. Then they released an other live album, Hell on Stage Live in 1999. See? And then they released more live stuff, Hell on Earth Part 1. I mean here you have uh, you have a lot of uh, live stuff, uh, live stuff. And you can see also the return of Scott Columbus, you know that came back before. You know, it's 2 hours of life on the edge of steel. Okay, this is the Hell on Earth Part 1. More parts we're going to follow. Okay, in 2001, if I'm not mistaken, um no, 2002, they came back with this record. Warriors of the World. You see? It's very nice. It's a wooden box. Here you got a plate. And a certificate. And here you have the CD in digipack version. And the stamps. A stamp. You see, you can, I never used it, it's ink. And this is a Manowar stamp that I never used, but very cool to own. And they released a, a very cool video clip again that, that worked very, very well also on the TV. Warriors of the World United, great, great track, 2002. And they start releasing more stuff. Warriors of the World United DVD that came out. It also has an audio CD, it's a double release. This came out, I wrote it down here, it's easier to follow this list. This came out also in 2002. Okay, that's what I agree. And also more stuff in 2002. An American trilogy, The Fight for Freedom. You know, also this came out in 2002. I think after what happened in America in 2001, September 2001, they want to show, okay, we are Americans and we fight for freedom. And this came out, okay. I think it's an Elvis Presley cover song, actually. Okay, but uh, I never really got into that so much, to be honest. But I came back with another EP. The Dawn of Battle, also in 2002. You see, it also has three songs. And a CD-ROM part, with documentary, promotional trailer from the Fire and the Blood DVD. And talking about the Fire and the Blood DVD, they came out... With this release, also in 2002. So in 2002, a lot of stuff came out by Manowar. Okay. Okay, the next one. Then more Hell on Earth came out, DVDs. Part 3 came out in 2003. And Part 4 came out in 2005. But I didn't buy this. That is. But I bought The Sons of Odin. That came out in 2006. And they released... The Absolute Power DVD. Amazing, amazing. When Manowar headlined the Earthshaker Festival in 2005. And they came out with this in 2006. This is an ama amazing two DVD sets. Then finally, finally, after all this live stuff, live DVDs and stuff. 
they came out in 2007 they came back with Gods of War and this is a special metal edition you see in diggy book it's very cool I like to show it more but I cannot really show it so much because I, this video is getting too long I think you see and of course this has a lot of controversy because they used a lot of orchestra or orchestrations in their songs and the songs became longer and longer but I still like this album and again of course they had to come back with a live album the gods of war live you see again one more one more live album you know with a lot of songs from the gods of war album okay I saw them again I saw them that tour I saw them like four or five times and then um, the live recording was also the last recording with St Scott Columbus you know the, the drummer and uh, he died later in 2011 uh, but here we have um, the old drummer came back you know the, from the from the first album came back and he's still in the band nowadays and they released this DVD uh, this is a festival that they organized themselves in Germany the Magic Circle Festival you see this one here and also you can see like a band called Holy Hell on it and Six Sense you know a couple of all different bands Black Situation and some bands that men were invited to play like Storm Warrior see but also of course men War. then they came back in 2009 with this EP a Thunder in the Sky the Asgard Saga and here we have uh, one song done in 15 different languages that's amazing <laughs> But the songs like Thunder in the Sky, Let's the God Decide, Die with Honor, all those songs are really good. It's a very cool EP actually, that not many people talk about. You see? And then I show the last full length album they release. After this they release like Battle Hymns, re-recorded, and some other stuff that I never bought. But this is the last thing I ever bought by them. This is from 2012. This is the last full length album. They also have a live album after this that I don't have yet. I never bought it. And this is the Lord of Steel, okay, from 2012. Okay, not bad album, not not kicking ass either, but it's got some okay songs on it, you know. Yeah. Okay, this is everything I want to show by Manowar. I hope so. You like this video, and uh, have a great summer, everybody, and stay metal.